How do you make a semiconductor chip? Semiconductors are an essential component of today's electronics. They are the brains of the devices we use every day. Applied Materials provides highly sophisticated equipment, software, and process technologies chip makers need to manufacture semiconductor chips. Chips are manufactured in multi-billion dollar fabrication plants called FABs, built on a surface called a wafer. This wafer is made of pure silicon, the second most common element on Earth. Silicon is refined from sand into pure silicon dioxide. The silicon dioxide is then melted to yield silicon, which is then pulled to form a cylinder called a crystal ingot. The ingot is polished and then sliced into thin wafers. Epitaxy, or epi, is a pure crystalline silicon foundation deposited and grown on the wafer surface. Epi provides a precisely controlled layer on which the device can be built, protecting the device from the wafer. Next, the wafer is spun and uniformly coated with a thick light-sensitive liquid called photoresist. Then a pattern is created on the wafer. Circuit patterns are drawn on a clear stencil-like mask. These patterns are transferred to the photoresist using ultraviolet light. Materials in unexposed areas are etched away, leaving a 3D circuit pattern on the wafer. These steps repeat multiple times and require precise measurement. Now it is time to build the transistors on the wafer surface. The transistor is the fundamental building block of electronics. It is a switch or gate that controls the flow of electricity. Advanced chips can contain as many as 15 billion transistors. Switching a gate open allows current to flow through a channel from a source to a drain. Etch and deposition steps form the transistor. Ion implantation and thermal steps improve transistor speed by modifying the silicon to conduct current faster. Wires connect multiple transistors to one another and route electronic signals in and out of the chip. Wires are created by patterning and etching circuit lines, then filling them with metal. A single chip can contain more than 50 miles of wiring spanning multiple levels. Individual steps are monitored and controlled in the manufacturing sequence to verify the target properties are met. By the time the wafer is finished being processed, the wafer surface is covered with multiple semiconductors. The wafer is cut into individual semiconductor chips. The final step is packaging. Each chip is placed on a lead frame and then overmolded with plastic to protect the chip. The chips are now ready to be used in computers, mobile devices, automobiles, and other electronic devices we use every day. Applied material systems are used to produce virtually every new chip and advanced display in the world. Our expertise in developing and manufacturing the equipment that makes semiconductor chips enables our customers to transform possibilities into reality.